Hi, today I'm going to show you how to recreate this navy blue smoky eye, which is a nice alternative to the usual black or brown. I've created it using two products and some false lashes. I'm going to start with my base. I'm using Infallible because the colours that I'm using on my eyes to create the smoky eye are all going to be cream textures. They're not going to drop down onto the base. So I'm just going to buff over with my long wearing foundation. This for me is going to be a party look for tonight. My lips are really dry at the moment. So I've got to just keep putting moisture on them the whole time. I think it's just the cold weather and the central heating and all of that. So for concealer, I'm going quite old school with my Clinique airbrush and I'm mixing it with Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage. I'm going to mix this on the back of my hand. This one first and then I'm going to mix, this is SC2. Mix those just to get the right consistency. And then pat those on. And then using secret camouflage, it's going to do some pinpoint concealing. I still love this one for pinpoint. The you know sometimes the old ones are the best. Just really sticks to the skin. And then for powder, I'm going to apply powder more or less a light layer all over because everything I'm using from now on is either cream on the eyes or powder on the face. So I'm going to set this properly. I'm not using tons of powder though, just a small amount, but really pushing it into the skin. So onto eyes, and I'm going to start with a pencil. This is a dark blue pencil by Trish McAvoy. I'm going to go along the waterline. Then I'm actually going to go along the top of the eyelashes. Not really doing a perfect line here, just working it into the lashes. And then at the outer corner, I'm just going to do a few dabs there. Sort of looks messy, but that's the intention. Now I'm going to use this cream eyeshadow. This is by Armani, Giorgio Armani. This sets really fast. I'm going to tap it all over my lid. And while it's still wet, I'm going to start to blend this into the areas that I want. And at the same time, I'm blending the pencil as well. Just lots of big strokes and looking ahead to see where the shape is going. And then a second layer just to build up the colour mainly over the lid this time and at the outer edge. I find with this product that it's better to blend the second layer with your fingers because the heat from your fingertips keeps it pliable and you can kind of push and maneuver it into place. And then using the same product underneath the eyes, I'm going to smudge that and just make more of a round shape, more of a cloud effect. So now I'm going to add some black mascara and fill in my brows. So my natural lashes couldn't really compete with this smoky eye, so I'm going to add some big fluffy black lashes touch of blush. This one is quite shimmery so it's doing the job of highlighter and blush at the same time. And to finish off this look I'm going to do quite a natural lip, quite pale. I put the lipstick on first. I 
touch of liner. So that's the finished look and it is quite a dramatic smoky eye, it's quite intense. Personally, I like to wear this kind of a smoky eye with more of a fresh skin, which is why I think this blush works well with it because it's kind of a little bit shimmery, the color's not too intense, so the, the skin generally feels fresh. And also the lip having this satin finish and being quite natural doesn't take attention away from the eyes. But feel free to make it your own and if you do try it, please let me know in the comments or send me a picture on Instagram with the hashtag MyLisaLook because I'd love to see how you interpret it.